So, you didn't really think I forgot about the car, did you? Today I'm actually getting back to work on the M3 because I hope to have it running and maybe driving. Uh, the driving part's a little bit difficult because it has no wheels now because I sold them because I didn't want them either way. But I want to get it running at least, maybe driving uh, in about two to three weeks. Uh, I have built up enough financial stability after moving in that I can continue to work on it in some degree. But I basically chose that I'm gonna skip on some of the painting and just get it to run and drive first just so I can go back to enjoying the car. Uh, I absolutely love my bike, but I do really miss having a car. Um, I didn't record this video because it was kind of simple, but while I was painting her calipers red, I actually painted this whole engine block black. If you guys remember, it was this ugly cream powder coated color. So I took apart the intake manifold, uh, the coil packs, most of that stuff, and I sprayed it all black. So it looks pretty good um, now. It looks more refreshed and everything like that. Uh, I just have to throw the water pump back on, which is like five bolts or so. And that's really it for that. I'm not gonna worry about putting the belt on yet because the first startup is gonna be without a belt anyway. But basically now I'm gonna just focus on the engine bay. Uh, I'm gonna hopefully today rattle can the engine bay gloss black. Before I do that, I'm just gonna cut off like these little brackets and stuff that I don't really need anymore. But this week I am picking up a T56 transmission um, out of a 240 LS swap project. Uh, it's a T56 and it comes with a twin disc um, McLeod clutch and flywheel and shifter. So it's basically all I need to simply bolt that transmission and everything to that. I did order a pilot bearing, which is like a little bearing that sits in the crank housing, which is the only thing I'm gonna replace basically. I want the engine and trans in, in this car sitting mounted by the end of this week. Uh, I think that's very possible because I'll have the trans clutch everything, put it all together and put it in and then I'll worry about the wiring. As you guys know, I have the full swap kit and wiring and headers and stuff like that already. Yeah, that's why I hope I can make it run and drive. Uh, not gonna worry about the interior, the cage color, any of that stuff yet. I think eventually in a few months, uh, once I have more money or a different job or something like that, I will take out the engine again just to perfect some things. But for now, I kind of just miss doing car stuff and car content and stuff like that. Once again, not that I hate the bike stuff or anything like that but I just want to get back on track with having a cool car. So I shaved off most of the stuff as you saw. Any like studs that came out where you'd put a bolt on to hold like something. The brackets that were held in by pinch welds here. And there was like a weird bracket that was held in here too that looked stupid. Um, so I ended those pinch welds, took those off. The other ones I just kind of grinded off or uh, grinded on the weld and broke the bracket off and grinded the area down. Once again, stuff that most people won't really notice, but it just makes it just a little bit more clean. As you saw, I shaved the top right here and kind of shaved down these heat shields, shaved down that area. I have, uh, as you can see, this is a rubber bushing for the steering right here. Uh, I, bought a, I bought a solid metal one. Uh, should give the steering a little bit more of an aggressive feel and snap, snappiness and all that. Cleaned up, uh, taped off the fenders, BMW color tag, I don't even know why I have it anymore, and the steering shaft. I 
threw in the HVAC delete block off plate because this is where the HVAC unit would sit normally. Uh, it's required for any, basically any kind of track to block off the firewall from the cockpit. I think it came out pretty damn good for Rattle Game. A lot more glossier than I thought it would be. Hopefully you guys like it. Uh, I thought I was gonna be able to get the front subframe, which is under here, back on, but uh, kind of running out of daylight and I'm not really in a rush since either way we don't have the trans yet, but we will sometime this week, most likely. So I'm not really in a rush. Uh, it's nice and cool in Arizona this week, like high 70s, low 80s. So I'll be working on it every day after work. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, uh, another video throwing the subframe back on, getting that brake booster on, running the brake lines, and that other thing I was talking about, there's a piece that they're supposed to ship Chase Bays with the brake pedal, and it's for the BMW OEM brake pedal, and it's like this kind of like clip that's like a U-clip, but uh, they just forgot to send it, so they're going to send it out, so I won't be able to bleed the brakes, but at least I'll be able to mount and run all the lines and stuff like that, and I'm probably also going to go ahead and... Uh, I got like truck bed liner coating and I'm probably going to spray every uh, wheel tub on the inside while all the suspension is out uh, black just against rust and just to make it black and clean compared to this weird green beige BMW color. If you guys like it, it came out really sick. It's going to be a really, really simple bay. Uh, the only thing I might do is just paint the valve covers vintage gold. But either way, I can do that whenever, whether the engine's in or out. I can always pop the coil packs and pop the valve covers. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, like I said, hopefully you guys are excited. I'm getting back on the M3, working on it and whatnot, and uh, hopefully get it running and driving within two to three weeks and make cool content and maybe some track days or something like that. Although it's going to look like crap from the outside, but at least it'll be working. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.